Sitting up nice and tall, eyes closed. Your hands come to rest on your lap. With your eyes closed, slowly begin to exhale your breath all the way out. And take a slow breath in through your nostrils. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. In through your nose, fill it up. Out through your mouth, exhale. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Stretch your arms over your head, please. Reach up to your fingertips. Bring your hands together at your heart and side out. Let it go. Your palms together. Sit up tall. Soften your shoulders. Seal your lips and begin to breathe in and out through just your nostrils, please. As you breathe in and out through your nostrils, tone the muscles of the back of the throat so that as you move your breath into the nose, down to the back of the throat, you can hear sound coming from that same spot, that base of the back of the throat. This sound is not only moving within the body as vibration, as heat, as energy, but also moving into the space around you. Continue to breathe in and out through your nose, engaging vocal cords at the back of the throat. That sound is filling up the space around you. It might sound like a low growl or a loud whisper as you continue to deepen your breath. Set the intention for practice today, just kind of a question, what is strength to you? And strength can be a lot of different things. It can be um, courage or perseverance, physical strength, um, tenacity. So what embodies strength to you in this practice? Or what qualities of strength do you feel like you embody the most when you practice? Can you start to open up our idea of what strength is a little bit more so that we feel stronger. Really, that's the simple aspect of it, right? The more, uh, the broader our definition of strength, the more we use strength as an idea rather than as like a firm definition of what it means, we can start to let our practice expand. We can start to feel stronger through that practice. We'll work on that today. Exhale your breath all the way out. Inhale for Om.
with your eyes open. Make your way onto your hands and knees, please. Go ahead and spread your fingers nice and wide. Hands under shoulders and knees under hips. Pressing down through the inner and outer edges of your hands fairly evenly. We'll make some circles around our wrists, please. Press down and make some circles. We'll go in one direction a few times. Keep pressing down through the hands, circle the other way a few times. Breathing in and out through your nostrils, toning the muscles at the back of the throat, turn your palms face up, point your fingers in towards each other. Okay, fingers turning in, wiggle your fingers, roll out your thumbs, rock a little bit side to side, pressing down the backs of the hands, rock to the right and to the left. Okay, good. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn the palms. You know, let's do this. Tuck your toes. I want to get this one today. Tuck your toes, sit back onto your heels, reach your arms up to the sky. Close your hands tight into a fist, then flick the fingers all the way open, all the way closed. Ready? Open, close, open, close. Keep it going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Bring your hands back down to the ground. Lean forward into your hands. Press into your knuckles. Lift your palms up and lower your palms back down. And again, lift your palms up and lower your palms down. Keep it going for five, four, three, two, and one, lower your palms down. Now we'll come up to the fingertips, lean forward into your hands, press down into your fingertips, come up, and lower back down onto your palm. Again, up to your fingertips, down to your palm. Ready, going for five, lean forward, four, three, two, and one. Stay up on the fingertips, let's take a round of cat-cow. Chin to your chest, tuck your tailbone, squeeze your glutes, hollow out your belly. Cowl pose. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, look up towards the sky. Exhale, cat pose, chin to chest, tuck your table and press the ground away, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, cow pose, keep pressing down, lift your chest. Exhale, cat pose, one more time. Squeeze the glutes, cow pose. Very good. Keep the cow pose. Turn your fingers to point back towards your thighs. Exhale right into your cat pose. Lean forward. Rock forward. Chin to your chest. Cow pose. Inhale. Thighs back. Chest up. Peek up to the sky. Exhaling. Rock forward. Cat pose. Inhale, shifting back, cow pose. One more time, take it forward, cat pose. Take it back, cow pose. All right, sit all the way back under the tops of your feet, please. Walk your hands back alongside your heels. Lean back, let your knees start to come up off the mat. And press down into your feet. Lift up into your thighs, breathe. Should feel pretty good. All right, lower the knees right back down to the ground. Let's come back onto our hands and knees. We'll take an easy twist to get going. Reach your left arm out to your left, stretch it out, wrap it underneath you. Slide the left shoulder down to the ground. Bring the left side of your head down to the ground. Press through your right hand, roll your right shoulder back. Twist and roll your right rib cage back. Continue to breathe. If you want to reach your right arm forward, 
just look up underneath your right armpit for a little bit more of a twist you can. Bring your right hand back underneath your right shoulder, please. And open your left arm up to the sky. Step your left foot way back. Take a big breath in, reach your left arm over your head. Exhale, bring your left knee and left elbow to tap. Ready, left knee, left elbow, tap right over, uh, right in front of your hip. Okay, go ahead and open it back up. Left knee, left elbow, tap. Inhale, extend it back out. One more time, left knee and left elbow tap. This time you're gonna hold it here. Bring your left foot towards the top of the mat. Hover the left foot above the mat. Place the left foot down. Place both hands down inside the left ankle. Look forward, rock forward to lunge. Press into your feet. Maybe pulse the hips a little bit. Pull forward into your chest. Straighten your left leg. Flex your toes, please. Flex your toes, flex your quads. Press your left heel down into the mat and drag it back energetically so that you're really actively extending through the hamstring. Inhale, rock forward, lunge, press to your feet, lift to your chest, and straighten your left leg, exhale, flex your toes, press the heel down, pull back. This time as you rock forward, pick up your back knee, please. Press to your feet, pull forward to your chest, maybe move the hips a little bit if it feels good. And straighten your front leg, exhale. Press your right thigh back, outer left hip wraps under, fold in. Press down through your hands, inhale, re-extend your left leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Reach it up and extend it out. And stack your left hip over your right hip, please. Press down through your hands. Try to keep the right side body from collapsing. We're not gonna let the right shoulder drop, right armpit lifts, right hip lifts, left thigh goes back. Give it a few big circles with your left knee. Circle right away. Re-extend your left leg up to the sky. Big breath in, reach it up, stretch it back, please. Exhale, bring your left knee into your chest. Rock forward, uh, nose to knee. Press the ground away. Hold it and squeeze it for five, four, three, two, one. Send your left leg up and back. Squeeze it really tight, left knee into your chest, nose to knee, press the ground away, squeeze it tight for three, two, one, left leg goes up and back. Should really feel your abs working. Left knee into your chest, rock forward, press the ground away, squeeze it tight. Step to plank pose, look forward, both feet flat on the ground, lower, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale, downward facing dog, Exhale. In through your nose, out through your nose, breathe. Lift up to your toes and lower your knees back down to the ground. Reach your right arm out to the right, please. Thread your right arm underneath you. Come down onto your shoulder. Same thing, twisting. Press to your right, uh, press to your left hand, twist to your left shoulder. Roll the left shoulder back, roll the left rib cage back. Twisting through the torso, try to keep the hips as stable as you can. Maybe the left arm reaches forward and you can twist through that extension. Bring your left hand back under your shoulder, please. And open your right arm up to the sky. Step your right foot back behind you and sweep your right arm over your head. Ready, you lift your right leg up, right elbow and right knee tap. Extend it out. Right elbow, right knee tap. Extend it out. Right elbow, right knee tap, hold it. Take your right foot to the top of the mat, hover it, land it. Hands down, look forward and lunge. Straighten your leg, exhale and fold. Press down into the heel, drag the heel back. Flex your toes, flex your quad. Rock forward and lunge, press to your feet, lift to your chest. Straighten your right leg, exhale, flex your toes, dig the heel down, pull back. Rock forward and lunge, pick up your back knee, 
Maybe you pulse the hips a little bit. So that movement can go a long way. Straighten your front leg and exhale. Press down. Extend out through the legs. Press through your hands. We're going to take the right leg up and back. Three-legged back. Bend your right knee. Stack your right hip over your left hip. Pull your right thigh up and back. Press down through your hands. Keep the left side body from collapsing. Make a few big circles with your right knee here. Circle the other way. Inhale, re-extend your right leg up to the sky. Press through your hands really tight. Right knee into your chest, nose to knee. Press the ground away. Really squeeze heel to bum, thigh to ribs. Five, four, big push. Three, press as hard as you can. Two, one, right leg up. Right knee into your chest, nose to knee. Lift your thigh to your ribs. Squeeze your heel to your bum. Push into the ground for three, two, one. Right leg up and back. Knee into your chest, nose to your knee. Tap, press, step back, plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Please lift your left leg high to the sky. Reach it up, stretch it back. Press down through your hands, extend out through your legs. We'll bring the left heel to the right big toe. Right leg lifts up, extend it out, press it back, extend through arms and legs. Right heel to left big toe. Left leg lifts up, extends back and up. Left heel to right big toe. Right leg lifts up, extend it out, press it out. Right heel to left big toe. Left leg lifts up, extend it out. Right foot to right thumb. Sorry, left foot to left thumb. Right leg lifts up, extend it out. Right foot to right thumb. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up to standing. Take your arms to the sky. Practice the arms. Exhale, lift into your chest. Chair pose. Inhale, sit back into your hips. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your nose to your knees. Lift up halfway, lengthen. Lean forward a little bit. Hands come down, step or hop back, chaturanga. If you're hopping back, take it back to bent elbows. Upward dog or cobra pose. Chest up, shoulders back, legs active. Downward facing up. Please lift your right leg high to the sky. Stretch it up, stretch it back. Right heel to left big toe. Left leg lifts up nice and high. Left heel to right big toe. Right leg lifts up, extend it out. Right heel, left big toe. Left leg lifts up, extend it out. Left heel, right big toe. Right leg lifts and extends. Right foot, right thumb. Left leg lifts and extends. Left foot, left thumb. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Rise to standing, take your arms up. Practice the arms, exhale, tone your thighs, squeeze your glutes, lift into your chest. Chair pose, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, nose to knees. Lift up, halfway lengthen. Plant the hands, take it back, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Lift up to your toes. Bend your knees, look forward, lightly step or hop forward, forward, forward. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Rise to standing, take your arms up. Practice the arms, open the heart. Lift your chest, hips forward, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, forward, fold, nose to knees. Lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. Plant the hands, take it back, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Lift your right leg up to the sky, stretch it back, bring your right knee into your chest, squeeze it tight. Press down, turn the palms from lifting, step your right foot between your hands. 
Spin your left heel down, rise up, warrior one. Deepen your lunge, exhale, press to your feet, really low into your lunge. Inhale, release the hands down, step back, plank pose. Rock forward to your toes, exhale, lower chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Lift your right leg up. Bring your knee into your chest, push down through your hands. Try not to lift your palms as you step between the hands. Spin your left heel down, nice Catlin. Left heel down, rise up, warrior one. Deep in your lunge. Release the hands down, breathe in. Plank pose. Lower, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Couple of breaths. Lift your left leg to the sky, please. Uh, actually, sorry, lower the left down. Lift up to your tiptoes. Bend your knees, look forward. We're going to hop the feet wider than the hands. Lift up to your toes. Bend your knees, look forward. Feet go wider than the hands. Heels and toes out, hands together at your heart. Squeeze your heels together. Press your thighs apart. Press into your feet, lift into your chest. Inhale. Hands down, hips up, exhale, forward fold. Draw your belly in, lift your hips up, drop your gaze, look back between your legs. Inhale, come down and squat, hands to your heart, lift into your chest. Exhale, forward fold, press down into your feet, look back. Inhale, squat, try to keep your spine and side body long. Exhale, fold. Keep as much of that extension through the spine and side body. Fold it and look back. Press into your feet. Inhale, squat. Keep pushing down into your feet as you fold. Exhale, press the feet down. Lift the hips up one more time. Inhale, squat. Press down into your feet. Exhale and fold. Lift up to your fingertips. Place the hands just between the and step your right foot way back behind you. Lower the right knee down to the ground, please. All right, here we go. Walk your right knee forward just a little bit and circle your left arm up and back to grab your right foot. Squeeze your heel into your bum a lot. Opposite hand to opposite foot, right? Then kick the foot back in your hand. As you kick the foot back, lean back a lot. Roll the shoulders back, lean back, chest away from the left thigh, heart foot forward. Ready? Squeeze the heel in, squeeze your right glute, deep in your lunge, kick the foot back, lean back, open it up. Squeeze the heel in, squeeze your glute, deep in your lunge, press it to your feet, pull your heart forward, kick the foot back. Good, my friends. Release your back foot. Reach your left hand forward, please. Bring your right knee into your chest and start to drag your right foot through out in front of you. And try to keep your butt off the ground for a moment. You can grab your right foot with your left hand. Press to your left foot. Lift to your chest. Shift your weight onto your left leg a little bit more. And you grab your right foot with your right hand as well. It's okay if you can't. Your butt might have to be on the ground, and that's okay. Lower your butt down, nice job. Take it back, Ardha Navasana. Stretch the legs out in front of you. Hold and breathe here. Squeeze your thighs, toes reach forward. Pick it up, straighten your legs as much as you can. Boat pose, lift your chest, squeeze the legs together. Lower down, Ardha Navasana. Pick it up, boat pose. Take it back, lift it up. Take it back, lift it up. Take it back, lift it up, take it back, 
da, da, da. take it back and up and back and up two more back and up. last one hold it at the bottom hold it here squeeze thighs arms overhead five four three two one pick it up place your feet back down on the ground all right pick yourself back up to chair pose ready feet down hips up chair pose squeeze your thighs together in through your nose and out through your nose reach up through your fingertips get nice and low lower your bum to your heels come up onto your toes your knees are going to tap the ground leaning back knees are going to lift up your heels are going to tap the ground reaching forward and again knees tap leaning back heels tap leaning forward one more time knees tap lean back and heels tap lean forward very good breathe in through your nose out through your nose heels down let's go uh, crow pose spread your fingers wide bring the knees into the backs of the arms look forward rock forward press down through your hands wrap your forearms in draw your belly in pull your thighs to your ribs tilt forward lift one or both feet up squeeze heels to your bum just like those plank pose we were holding same thing push through your hands a lot see if you can straighten your arms as much as you can pull your thighs to your ribs for five four three two take it back one chaturanga cobra pose or upward tap downward facing up inhale lift up to your toes please Bend your knees, look forward, lightly step or hop the feet wider than the hands, come forward to a squat. See if you can get a little float time, a little hang time. Hips over shoulders, good, Callie. Really pushing down through your arms. Hands to your heart, big breath in, press into your feet, lift into your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Press through your feet, lift your hips, look back. Inhale, squat, bend your knees, lift your chest. Exhale, fold, press through your feet, lift your hips. Inhale, squat, bend your knees, lift your chest. Exhale, fold, straighten your legs, press the feet down, draw your low belly in. Two more, inhale, squat. Exhale, fold, push down through your feet, drive your belly up and hips to the sky. Inhale, squat, press down into your feet, thighs are wide. Last time, exhale, fold, hold it here. Lift up to your fingertips. Hands between the feet, step your left foot way back behind you. Lower your left knee down to the ground. Nice long stance here. Walk your left hand forward a little bit, circle your right arm back. Grab your left foot, squeeze your left glute, squeeze your heel into your bum. Roll the shoulders back, really work into your twist. Deepen your lunge. Kick the foot back into your hand. Shoulders back, heart forward. So good, Hayden. Make sure you're not sort of collapsing into your left side. Press to your left hand. Keep your left side body a little bit more active. Squeeze the glute. Press the hips forward and down, right? Squeeze in. Heel the bum. Kick back. Shoulders back. Heart forward. One more time. Squeeze in. Heel to bum. Really squeeze the glute. Deep in your lunge. Kick back. Harder. Release the back foot. Reach your right arm forward, please. Bring your left knee into your chest. Start to extend your left leg out in front of you. Keep your butt off the ground as best you can. Push down into your right foot a lot. And you grab your left foot with your right hand. Stay here or grab your left foot with your left hand also. Maybe the butt is down, that's okay, but do your best. Push down into your right foot. Lift up into your chest. Lower your butt to the ground. Nice, Callan. Nice, Madhu. Send both feet out, Ardha Navasana. Hands by your side, knees into your chest. Squeeze your ribs to your thighs. Extend your legs over your head. And lower your butt back down, knees into your chest. Reach your toes forward, look out to your toes. Knees into your chest. Lift the butt, extend your legs over your head. Knees into your chest, curl up. Look for your toes, reach your toes out. And again, knees into your chest, lift your bum, extend your legs out, pull your thighs to your ribs. So really pulling your legs 
into your body, knees into your chest, reach the toes forward, look out to your toes. Two more times. Knees into your chest, pull the ribs into the, uh, the thighs to the ribs, extend your legs out, pull the legs as close to the body as you can. Knees into your chest, reach the toes forward, look to your toes last time. Knees into your chest, squeeze it tight, extend your legs out, hold it here. Pull your legs as close to your chest as you can for three, two, one. Lower your butt down, reach your legs out in front of you. Very good, my friends. Take your legs out wide, interlace your fingers, reach the fingertips forward, and then you're gonna pull your belly button down to lift up. Lower, send out your legs, pull your legs closer towards your body, curl up. Lower, pull your belly button down to crunch up. Belly button down and lower. Keep pulling your legs closer towards you. Belly button pulls down and lower. One more time. Belly button pulls down. Bring your, uh, grab your feet. Happy baby. Rock it out a little bit. In through your nose, out through your nose. Nice job, my friends. Bring your knees into your chest, rock it up and forward. Let's come back up to chair pose. Okay, one more time, crow pose. Knees into the arms, hands down, hug in. Look forward, rock forward. Pick up the feet, squeeze everything into the midline, into the body. We'll hold it for five, four, three, two. And one, take it back. Cobra pose or upward dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose, please. Inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky. Bring your knee into your chest, step between your hands. You ready? Uh, rise up, crescent lunge, big breath in. Deep in that lunge a little bit, exhale. Stretch through the back leg. Make sure you're pulling your belly and thigh, uh, belly and chest away from your front thigh to get hit and lean back a little bit more with your torso. Pull the front of your hips off of your hip, off of your thigh. Yeah, big breath in, reach up, stretch back. Right knee into your chest, everyone, stand up. Grab a hold of your right knee and stand up really tall, pulling your thigh up as high as you can towards your ribs. Now, a couple choices here. You might just stay here, kind of rounding in, taking your head towards your knee, or you can grab your foot with both hands and extend your leg out. And then do your best, bend your elbows to fold in over your right leg. You can do this with the bent leg or with the straight leg. One more breath. Very nice job. Lift your chest, release your foot, step back. Oh, sorry, foot back to warrior three. Balancing now on your left leg, right leg hovers. Standing legs strong, pull forward into your chest, extend out through your legs, in through your nose, out through your nose. You're gonna bring your right knee to tap the ground on the outside of your left ankle. Good, and then lower all the way down to the ground here. Tap your butt to the ground. Lean forward, pick it all the way back up. Warrior three, sweep your right leg wide to the right. Stand all the way up, bring your knee into your chest. Very good, and then take it back to warrior three. Right knee comes down to tap the outside of your left ankle. Okay, lower your butt all the way down to the ground. Lean forward, pick it up, warrior three. Sweep your right leg wide to the right, stand all the way up. Bring your knee into your chest or extend the leg out, why not? Take it back to warrior three one more time. Extend out through your legs, stretch out through your chest. Right knee comes down to the outside of your left ankle. Then all the way down. 
Come forward, kick it all the way up. Right leg goes wide to the right. Really good work. Right knee into your chest. Extend your leg out if you can. Warrior three, take it back. Step back, rise up, warrior two. In through your nose, out through your nose, check it out, breathe, square. Uh, turn your left toes forward, turn your right toes in. Line up the heel and the arch of your feet. Lift through the front of your hips. Squeeze the glute on the right side a little bit more and lunge, press down into your feet stretch. Good, my friends. Lift the front of the hips up. Fill up your low back. Inhale. And exhale. Press to the feet lunge. Take your arms up to the sky. Turn your big toes in. Interlace the hands behind your back. Exhale. Forward fold. Press down through your feet. Extend out through your legs. Extend out through your side body. Work the crown of your head towards the ground. Stretch out through your knuckles and breathe. Imagine your hands are coming to the ground over your head. All right, so the, imagine they're extending out through the knuckles so much that they find the ground over your head. I'll take one more breath here. Bring your hands to your low back. Slide the hands down to the ground. Inhale, lift up to your fingertips, please. Skandasana to the right side. Right knee bends, left leg extends. So we're looking at uh, what makes us stronger. Is it our, our willpower, which is a, one of the foundations of yoga, willpower, knowledge, and action, are like the three pillars of our yoga practice. All right, can we also find strength in our knowledge? Let's stick with those, right? Knowledge that we can grow, knowledge that we can utilize, even knowledge that we have to let go of. All of these skills take a moderate amount of strength to do. And lastly, what we probably most relate strength to is action, strength through action. Press to your hands, walk your hands to the top of the mat. Right hand down, left arm to the sky, press down. I right, put all of those components together, strong through your willingness to use your knowledge to take action. It's hard to say. Step your left foot back behind you. Mild thing. Reach to your fingertips. Lift to your hips. Extend it out and breathe. Press to your feet, everyone. Reach out. Really extend out through your left hand, through your left shoulder. Look forward. Bring your left knee into your chest. And we're going to step our left foot all the way back, softly, slowly, without stomping it to the top of the mat. Hold the left foot above the top of the mat. Place the left foot down. Pyramid pose. Square off your hips. Spin the back heel down. Fold it. Press through your feet. Extend through your legs. Turn yourself again to the right. This time, heels in, toes out, squat. Take your thighs wide. Sit low into your squat. Bring your elbows to your thighs, your hands to your thighs. Press out. Thighs go wide. Heels squeeze together. Thighs go wide. Walk your hands forward a little bit out in front of you. We're going to spin the right knee down. Pick it up. Spin the left knee down. Pick it up, spin the right knee down. Pick it up, spin the left knee down. One more time, spin the right knee down and hold it there. Okay, take your arms to the sky, Anjaneyasana, facing forward, arms up. Stretch back through your fingertips, please. Release the hands back down to the ground. Take it back, Chaturanga. Cobra pose. Downward. Facing dog. Lift your right leg up to the sky. Bring your right knee into your chest. Push down through your hands. Try not to lift the palms. Big push. Squeeze tight as you step forward between the hands. 
Nice hit. Rise up, crescent lunge, arms to the sky. But make sure that we're not letting the front of the hips spill forward. We're not pushing our ribs and low back forward into our thigh. Soften your back knee a little bit. Lift through the front of the hips. Scoop the tailbone under slightly. Squeeze into your left glute and then extend out. Press to your feet, lift to your chest. Keep the front of the hips lifted away from the thigh. Inhale. Exhale, left knee into your chest. Stand all the way up. Grab your left knee or shin. Stand up tall. Lift your leg up as high as you can. Fold in. Take your nose to your knee. Or extend your leg out in front of you. Bend your elbows. Fold in. Standing leg as strong as you can. Press your right thigh back. Let's take it back to warrior three. Left leg sweeps back. Ooh, spicy. Standing leg is strong. So a lot of the movement we've been working on is compression and core. Trying to utilize our core and compression strength to gain more mobility. And in a way, that mobility gives us more strength as well. We can utilize that mobility to access more movement and build just a stronger practice in general. Left knee comes to the outside of the right ankle. Come all the way down. Sit down onto your bum. Come forward. Warrior three. And we'll sweep the left leg wide to the left. Stand all the way up. Left knee bends. Lift your knee into your chest. Standing leg strong. Take it back to warrior three. Standing leg stay strong. Extend it out. Left knee to the outside of your right ankle, please. Sit all the way down onto your bum. Lean forward. Pick it up. Warrior three. Press down through your right leg. Sweep the left leg wide to the left. Bring it all the way up to standing. Take it back one more time, warrior. Left knee to the outside of your right ankle. Get in there. Get low. Last time to rock up. So strength also comes from tenacity, from perseverance. Press down, stretch back. Left leg goes wide. We talked about willpower, so strength of will. It's willing to try something new to do something different. Take it back to warrior three. Step back. Warrior two. Take about five breaths here. Toe in your thighs. Squeeze your heels together. Draw thighs to hips. Then press down into your feet. Extend out. Make sure you're lifting through the front of your hips. Lengthening through the back body a little bit. So that you're not letting your hips go forward. You're not pushing your butt out. Tuck your tailbone lightly, squeeze into your left glute and lunge. Straighten your arms, straighten your legs, turn your big toes in. Interlace your hands the opposite way behind your back. Squeeze your palms together and fold in. Drop the head to the ground. Breathe. Make sure your legs are active. Flex your quads. Lift your kneecaps. Spin your thighs back. Extend out through your legs. Find that you're gathering energy at your hips, and from the hips, extend out through your side body into the crown of your head. Stretch out through your knuckles, breathe. Bring your hands to your low back. Slide the hands down. Lift up to your fingertips. Left side, skandasana. Left knee bends, right leg extends. Holding here for a few breaths. Squeeze your heels together. Draw thighs to hips. Work your hips down. Keep your chest lifted. Breathe. Hold it and breathe. Keep taking your left thigh wide. You have strength as endurance. Just enduring this action. Staying with it. Sit a little bit further. Lift a little bit more into your chest. One more breath. Walk your hands back to the top of the mat. Left hand down, right arm to the sky. Wild thing. Press down through your left hand a lot. Right, use your willpower. Use your knowledge. Take action. Press through your feet. Lift your hips. A lot of times people tell me like, oh, I'm not strong enough for that pose. Do that pose. And Physical strength is only one part of the strength equation. You need strength of will. You need strength of mind. When you're ready, come back around. 
press through the left hand, sweep the right leg around. One more time, soft controlled landing. Right foot lands really softly at the top of the mat. Very good. Turn, uh, straighten your right leg, turn your back heel in and down, pyramid pose. Two straight legs, flex your quads. Legs are active. That's one way that we build strength. We just engage our muscles. But more than that, going deeper, we utilize our knowledge of this pose. And that's a way, another way of being strong here. Tone your thighs, squeeze your heels together, draw your thighs to your hips. Press down through your feet, fold in. Turn to your left, heels in, toes out. Heels in, toes out, got a squat, thighs go wide, chest is lifted. Press your hands into your thighs, press your thighs apart. Get a little bit lower. All right, this time you're gonna walk your hands out in front of you a little bit. We'll do the same thing we did before, where the left knee comes down, and then we pick it up, and the right knee spins down, pick it up. Left knee spins down, pick it up. Right knee spins down, pick it up. Left knee spins down, face forward, arms up on Janayasana. Spin your inner left thigh back. Lift through the front of the hips. Stretch back through your fingertips. Nice, Madhu. Release the hands down. Take it back, Chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. In through your nose, out through your nose. Walk your hands in a little bit towards your feet. So we're in a really short down dog. Okay, then from here, you're going to lift up high to your toes. And a little bit of a bend in the knees to keep the hips up, to keep the booty up. Uh, watch, hug your forearms in, lean forward, lean forward, go as far forward as you can, head might tap the ground, press it back up. Try to keep your hips up as high as you can. If you wanna shorten it a little bit, you can. For me, it's sort of like the shorter it is, the harder it is on my shoulders, the longer it is, the harder it is on your chest. So I want it to be for the shoulders. Walk your feet in, lift your hips up, bend your elbows, take your head to the ground or towards the ground. And big push through your hands, lift through your hips, back into your down dog. Let's do it again, good calling. Press your thighs back, lift your hips up, big push. Yes. And maybe you don't go all the way down and that's okay, lean forward, rock forward, keep your hips up, head might tap the ground, press it back up. Let's do two more for good luck. Draw your low belly up and in, lean forward, go past your hands, and then press it up. Lean forward, go past your hands, and then press it up. Walk your feet the rest of the way into your hands. Bend your knees, come down to a little squat. We're gonna work on our crow pose again, but adding in some crow pose push-ups. And right? so here we're gonna bring the knees to the backs of the arms. Now wrap the elbows in, look forward, rock forward. From here, Pressing down through the hands and straightening the arms as much as I can. I'm also lifting my thighs. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and bend right back in. Same thing. Push down through the arms as much as you can. Lift your, lift your thighs, lift your belly. And then bend it back in. How to do three to five. This one is sometimes a little bit easier if your knees are wider. So you can try it that way too. You take your knees just a little bit wider than your arms. Gives you a little more space to play. Nice. Do your best. Good. Nice, Colleen. All right, let us utilize this action for one more thing. We'll try to do it quickly here. We're gonna now play with taking our, heads, our crow pose into our headstand or taking your crow pose into your handstand or taking a handstand 
and trying to lower down into your crow pose. Okay, so you can work on one of those three things depending on what you feel comfortable working on today. Here is the quick demo. Try it as we as I describe it. Hands down. I'll start with crow pose here. Okay, well, bend the elbows like doing that push up action. And as I lower the head down, I'm also going to push into the hands so that I'm re engaging the shoulders. Tilt the hips forward, extend your legs. Up. And as you lower back down, you might try to come back down into your crow pose. Hug the forearms in, press down, pull your thighs to your ribs. Get in there. And then squeeze your heels into your bum as you push your butt back to your heels. Press to your hands, pick it back up. So that's crow to headstand, back to crow pose. Try that now if you'd like. Strength is willpower, strength is knowledge, strength is action. It's not just physical strength in the body, but our willpower and our mind are also getting stronger with our practice, as long as we let it. Good calling to keep taking the legs up a little bit more. Press down. Yeah, very nice. Good mod to extend out, push down, hug in. Try to get a slow and controlled descent. Uh, hit and draw your ribs in a lot more. Try to fill up your back so there's not like a back bend in your back. Go ahead and bring your knees into your chest. Okay. So for making sure we don't want to have an arch in our back, it's really important because it puts a lot of stress on that. So to find where you want to place your head on the ground, bring your thumb to the center of your forehead, and then take your pointer finger and reach it back, almost as far back as it'll go. And that should be about where your head goes. It's a little bit further back than the full front of your head, because this will make make it so that you're having, if you have your uh, front of your head down, you'll definitely start to have more of a back bend in the pose. Now taking your head back a little bit more will give you the chance to get more up and down, less of a bend. As you're up, making sure you're really engaging your core, belly in, ribs in, keeping everything tight. Now, if you want to try, ooh, look at the time, uh, crow pose to handstand, why not? Same thing, except you're not going to bring your head down. I'm just going to lean forward into the hands, press down, and I'm going to make sure I'm really pulling up. It's just like that headstand, only I'm not going to bring the head down. Lean forward. Lock it out a little bit. Why not? All right, so you want to push down, draw in, and lift up. It's the same action, tilting your hips forward, pressing down to the hands. All right, breathe in through your nose, out through your nose, lean forward, take your hips forward. Even if you, you know, don't get all the way up, you get the feeling of just pulling your feet up, sorry, not your feet up, your hips and thighs up away from your arms. So it's just like a little hover. Hover. Finding that low belly engagement. Okay, we'll have to work on that some more in the future. Finish up the last one you're working on. Nice, Hayden, good control. That's it, Catlin, lean into it a little bit more. Press. Ooh, I see it, I see it. Sometimes, uh, I don't usually think it's easier, but some people, if you have less shoulder strength, I don't think they can do it. They find it easier to extend the arms first, and then take your legs up, which I don't think I can do right now because my, my wrist hurts, but I'll try it next time. <laughs> take your left shin forward, pigeon pose. If you're still working on it, go for it. Have fun. Try it out. Do your best. That's it, Hayden. You got it. 
Nice. And it's not that any of us aren't strong enough to do it. It's that I'm just waiting to build the knowledge to create the action. Our will is strong already. We're, a lot of us are trying, putting the effort in. Lock your hands in, sit up tall. Our will is strong, so we allow, we can then build knowledge and find strength there. Reach back with your right hand, grab your right foot. When the time comes, that combination gives us more strength than just physical strength. Release your back foot. Sit down onto your left hip. Sweep your right leg wide and bring your left foot to your right thigh. Challenge your shasana, fold over your right leg. Let's come back up. We'll take the right shin forward, the left leg back, kitchen heels. And that transition from crow to headstand or handstand sometimes can feel like I have to get my feet up is what your mind thinks. Like, okay, I gotta get my feet up. And that can really lead you on the wrong path towards building the pose. Just like when we were doing our squats to forward folds, we weren't lifting our feet, we were lifting our hips. And that's the area we wanna lift off of when we're doing our crow to inversion transition. So when you're in your crow pose and you're working your way into your headstand, let's say, you're not just trying to lift your feet up, you wanna bring your hips up and then your legs will lift up. Same thing with the handstand. It's not just about shooting your legs to the sky. It's about getting your hips up so that your legs can extend makes it that small shift in awareness makes a huge difference in execution of the pose. And that's why we did so many of those squats to forward fold so we can build that action in the body. Sit on, uh, walk your hands in, reach back with your left hand, grab your left foot, bring your right hand to your right thigh. A little bit of a back bend. Nice, Mario. Stand onto your right hip, sweep your left leg around, bring your right foot to your left thigh. Johnny Shushasana, fold over your left leg. Coming up, stretch both legs out in front of you, shake them out. Inhale, take the arms up and exhale, fold it. Just 
slowly come up and down onto your back, bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. We'll finish with an easy twist over to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Over to your left, look over your right shoulder. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a good squeeze. Take a deep breath in. Shavasana. Right back and relax. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll out your wrists and your ankles. Take a deep breath in, stretch out your arms and your legs, please. Inside out, let it go. Bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. Rock up to seated. Bring your hands to your heart, close your eyes. Let us move forward from this practice, strength, heart, mind, spirit, body, and breath. Exhale your breath all the way out. Inhale for one. The light in me honors the light in you. May that light shine brightly for us all. Thank you for practice, everyone. Great job today. We worked really hard, uh, leaning more towards an advanced practice today. So thanks for joining in. If you have questions, requests, feedback, comments of any kind, I would love to hear from you. So reach out, Stephen Arcos Yoga on Instagram or Facebook. You can email me, Stephen at StephenArcosYoga.com. And if you have the ability to give, you can reach me on Venmo, Stephen Arcos Yoga, or paypal.me forward slash Stephen Arcos Yoga. Great job today. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.